Aloha Aina. I'm Ehuke Kahu Kardwa with the Kowani Foundation right here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Well, this year you're going to be hearing a lot about Hawaii supposedly becoming the 50th state 50 years ago. The U.S. wants you to believe Hawaiians overwhelmingly voted to become Americans in 1959. At least that's what the American history books say. All land in Hawaii was initially stolen in 1893 from the Hawaiian Kingdom by a small bunch of wealthy foreigners who called themselves the Committee of Safety. Then they tried to get Hawaii annexed to the U.S. by getting a treaty of annexation passed in the U.S. Senate. That, of course, failed when the Congress found out 98% of all Hawaiians alive at the time were 100% against it. So instead, they got the U.S. Congress to pass the Newlands Resolution to claim annexation of the Hawaiian Islands. But according to the U.S. Constitution itself, the only way foreign territory can be acquired is by treaty not a resolution. So the Newlands Resolution is nothing more than a receipt for stolen property. Does all this have anything to do with the stolen or ceded lands mess going on today, whereby the state is trying to sell off for billions of dollars Hawaiian stolen lands? Just the other day, Hawaiian patriot Keanu Sai filed a complaint with the Bureau of Conveyances compelling them to produce documentation of any title transfer of these lands from the sovereign Hawaiian Kingdom to the state of Hawaii. Well, as you've probably already figured out, no such documents exist because not one square inch of land in Hawaii was ever conveyed to the U.S. by the Hawaiian Kingdom. See, Linda Lingle, nor the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, or anyone in the fake state of Hawaii has authority to dispose of lands in Hawaii because it was stolen. I'm Ehu Kekahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation, here on Free Hawaii TV, saying, stay tuned.